Hello, Douglas County. Today's Tuesday, July 20th, and I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County, Georgia. Welcome to today's edition of COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Hey, Rick. Thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining us. It's been a minute. But, you know, sadly, I uh, wish, you know, there were some like really good news we could talk about. I hear that COVID numbers have been going up over the last few weeks. What are the current numbers now in Douglas County? Yeah, so, you know, I felt this is an important uh, time to come and talk to folks um, just to make sure everybody was aware of what um, what's going on with our situation right now. So um, just a few weeks ago, we, we were in the 50s and doing great, 50 cases per 100,000 and a really low percentage positive rate and showing that the, the uh, virus wasn't really circulating as much in the community. Well, um, I know that I've talked to you all before that um, with the changing of the virus, um, we definitely have a lot more activity that's happening now. And um, we got numbers just hot off the press um, recently, and we're up to 132 uh, cases per 100,000. Um, and that puts us in the um, substantial uh, um, transmission category right now. And so that's for um, looking at kind of one week numbers. And I think we're really pretty close to almost high transmission at this point too. So Dr. Meemark, you know, I, I have to ask, I'm hearing a lot about the Delta variant. A lot of people are talking about the Delta variant. Is this playing a role? Yeah, you know, we think that it is playing a role. If some of you saw the report from the um, CDC director, Dr. Walensky today, um, she says that 85% um, of the cases that are being sent in right now are from the Delta variant. And so um, those of you may remember that was the original um, um, variant that originated in, um, in India. And so when just a few weeks ago, the, the most common variant that we have was the alpha variant, which was the original UK variant. That had swelled up, and then now it's being overtaken by the Delta variant. Um, you know, the only thing that we can really think of is that it um, it's just so much more transmissible. It's very, very contagious, and it's thought to be 60% more contagious than the Alpha variant, the UK one. And so it loves to take hold in people that are unvaccinated, and that's what we're seeing. And we are seeing some breakthrough cases, but it's nowhere near the number of people that are not vaccinated that are being infected and, and hospitalized right now. Dr. Meemar, talk to us about hospitalizations. Yeah. So we are seeing an increase in hospitalizations. And so in both of our counties, we do have in increases. They are not at the the very, very high numbers that we had had, but definitely a, a very noticeable uptick in numbers. So we're watching that pretty closely, but uh, it, the CDC says that um, actually the numbers have increased over the last week, over 100% in hospitalization. So that's something that we need to keep track of. What percentage of Douglas County residents are vaccinated and how does Douglas County compare nationally? Yeah, so um, right now, first dose, so I'd like to give credit for the first dose vaccines. Um, we have 39% that are vaccinated in Douglas County. Um, nationally, we're really closer to 65%. Um, and in um, Georgia, we're at 44% that are vaccinated. So that leaves 61% of folks that's unvaccinated. And I think that's um, contributing to a lot of the concerning trends that we're seeing right now. So last time we discussed the Cobb and Douglas Public Health vaccination site was being moved from Arbor Place Mall to the Douglas Public Health Center located on Solomon Drive. How are things going? Yeah, so it's going really well. It is open and accessible. Um, it is not busy. So please, if you have a chance and you're going by, please come in and get your vaccine. Um, the Pfizer vaccine is offered from 8 to 5 o'clock and it's Monday through Friday. You can come in anytime. If you need some other off hours or something, we have um, on our website, we have both CORE and our outreach team that go to different areas. So in Lithia Springs and Douglasville, there are different areas that you could go to if you um, would like to go somewhere else. So you participated in a vaccination town hall uh, that Dr. Jones, uh, chairman of our Douglas County Board of Commissioners had uh, hosted, which was a great effort. Um, Dr. Meemark, how is the effort to get Douglas County residents vaccinated going? 
Yeah, so, you know, it, it's really slowed down. So we were seeing previously that we had a lot of um, people that were getting vaccinated. And now it's just a slow trickle of folks that were getting in to get vaccinated. So there's definitely a lot of opportunity. And I know a lot of people have their concerns. And I hope, um, you know, if you had a chance to, to watch the town hall, I know you have the recording of it that it's, a, it's great to get some factual information. We have Douglas County doctors that are on there that can um, give you some information about women's health and it doesn't affect your fertility or anything like that. And so, um, so it's important to, to make sure you get factual information from reputable sources um, to, to look at that. So whatever you know, we can do to help people get vaccinated, we're there for you. One question we are hearing from people across Douglas County is how are kids going to be kept safe at school this fall? Yeah, so um, that's a great question. I think a lot of us are um, um, you know, concerned about how this is going to happen in the midst. We thought it was kind of going down and now things are kind of coming back up again. And, um, you know, children that are 12 and over can get vaccinated. So my 13 year old daughter just finished her vaccine series and she did spectacular, um, nothing but arm pain. And that's all she had. She did great with it. Um, and unfortunately, my 11 year old can't get vaccinated. And so he'll have to wear his mask. And so it's very important that, um, you know, the American Academy of Pediatrics just came out that they recommend all children to and over and that's vaccinated or unvaccinated wear masks. And, um, and so does the CDC. If you are not vaccinated, they recommend wearing masks. And so um, that is the guidance that's being put out. I know that it is not gonna be mandatory, but it is very, very strongly encouraged. We need to try to keep children in school. And the best way that we can do that is making sure that if they're sick, stay home and if, that they wear their mask. Very, very important. So I know Douglas County school system has done a lot, has done a lot for um, increased like social distancing in the school and having extra um, faculty members, they're doing a lot of contact tracing and things like that. So I know they're doing everything they can, but um, parents really need to, if your children are not vaccinated, you really need to have them wear their masks at school. Dr. Mark, is there anything else you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County? Yeah, you know, in the midst of everything that's happening, um, uh, you know, I recommend that unvaccinated folks definitely be a little bit more cautious during this time. So as you're out and about, and if you go to crowded places, please um, keep your distance or wear your mask. This um, this virus, this um, mutant is very, very contagious. And so please um, watch out for yourselves. And if you are a vaccinated person that, you know, maybe is, is older or um, is immunocompromised, like if you're on medications or, or things that would make it so that you can't mount a really um, strong immune response, please consider too to be very cautious. I wouldn't be um, you know, doing any big gatherings right now. The community spread is very high and um, well, it's not very high, but it's, it is moderately high, but it is out there transmitting. So please be careful when you're out there. Dr. Me, Mark, I can't thank you enough for joining us. Thank you. For Dr. Janet Meemark, I'm Rick Martin with your Douglas County COVID-19 update. Thank you, that's all for now.